was it? What was the key thing that made you decide you wanted to do this series? I think the, the real thing that sort of put it over the top for me was the family dinner scene. It almost sounded like me and my sister going back and forth across the, 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 the kitchen table. Like, no, you shut up and you shut up. And, and dad's sort of evil gaze over here in the corner like, she both of you shut up. I mean, that's our life. You know, any, if you talk to Mark or any of my brothers and sisters, they will tell you the same thing. It's, it, the, the Blue Bloods dinner scenes read so true to, to our life coming up that it just, it, it, it really spoke to my heart. And I, I, I knew I had to be a part of this show when I read it. The day you started hiatus for Blue Bloods, you started rehearsals for new kids. Yeah. Are you crazy? It's You know what it is? <laughs> Actors, musicians, we all do this. We want it so bad. We work so hard. And then we get there and we complain. Oh, I'm working so hard. But for me to even think or dare to complain right now would be just, it would be sinful. I mean, I, I've worked my whole career to be in this very spot and you know I want to do it while I can. You How know, I did love the reunion acting. come about last year? Because that was I mean that was a big news story. It was right. very cool. You know, everybody who remembers you guys right. originally um and Backstreet Boys, we mm -hmm. went, "Oh, how right. fun that right. they are doing this." That Union sort of came about, I think, you know, they were in town, we were in town, we were playing mm -hmm. at Radio City Music Hall in New York, and we really wanted to do something special for our fans. And um, I had a few special guests come out throughout the weekend, we were playing right. three nights, and on the third night, you know, we just made it a target, you know, a goal, let's get Backstreet Boys to come out and we'll sing their song, I Want It That Way, and have them come out and surprise our audience. But what happened that night at Radio City, none of us had ever seen. It, it was... The fans didn't just scream. They were in shock. They were truly in shock. And, and I think it hit us how much nobody ever thought. I think the world thought we were competitors and right. we were enemies. Two and we were. Mm -hmm. We were actually had so much more in common because we'd both been through the same thing. You know, it, it's hard to explain to someone what it feels like. It's, it's not like being in a war. It's not a heavy, heavy thing. They know what it feels like to be, you know, 15 one day and working in a shoe store in 20 the next day being, you know, one of the most famous faces in the world. They know what it feels like. And so we actually have a, a real bond with those guys. But when we get on stage at Radio City, the look in the fans' faces was just, it was just total shock. And when, when we can do something after being in the business for so many years, from kids to, to adults, um, when we can do something to shock people again after yeah. all these years, it, it means something, and, and we found something special.